Greetings YouTubers to another HF Gaming video. So we are playing FIFA 17 which has just been made available through EA Access. You now have 10 hours worth of gameplay which is fantastic because it means I can get a head start on FIFA Ultimate Team. Happy days. But in this video I am going to be specifically playing the journey. So let's take a look. Pick your team. Well, unfortunately, I can't pick the team I want to because they got relegated to the championship last year, Newcastle United. Um, so, I'm not really sure what team to be, to be honest. Definitely not Middlesbrough and definitely not Sunderland, would you believe? Um, you know what? I think because Leicester did so well last year, I think I'm going to have to go with Leicester. You know, they, they they found a soft spot in me for doing so well last year. I mean, I had to support a team that was winning because Newcastle uh, weren't doing very well at all. Now, the only thing I was a bit concerned about by playing the demo is a lot of cutscenes taken a long time and not being able to skip. Alright, so I'm assuming then we're now going to start to see Alex Hunter sort of go from being this little wonder kid all the way up to the dizzy heights of Leicester City. Oh, what was that? Stay on your feet, Alex! Oh, yes, Alex, stay on your feet. Are you serious, Harold? Oh, his granddad's nervous. If that is his granddad, I'm not sure. Oh, save keeper. That was exceptional. These kids. I think they're going to go on to big things. God, this is this is so dramatic. Go on, Alex. Yes, Alex, go on. We're rooting for you. See now, if uh, if he completely failed this free kick, we wouldn't have the journey. Uh, free kick, sorry. So if he completely failed this penalty, would that mean that we don't have the journey at all? A little mini Alex penalty. Ah, <gasps> this is exciting. Now, um, oh God, wait, no, I want to miss. Oh damn it! I didn't want to score. I want to see what happens if he missed. Would you, would you just not be able to play the journey ever for the whole time that you've got FIFA 17? Thanks, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Alex. Hunter. That must Champion. be his dad then. Or it could be his grand. I'm assuming it's his granddad because if it's his dad, he's. <clears throat> I mean, he's, he's pushing on a little bit. To choose which position's best for you. Oh. So put your best foot forward. Impress these scouts, alright, lad? So what's it going to be? Goalkeeper, bench warmer. You can play in goal. No, you can't. Oh, hold on. How do you go? Ah, no. Okay, so you've got a choice: striker, cam, right wing, and left wing. Okay, I like that aspect. Not just stick you up front, score all the goals, give you a bit of bit of depth. Match. You know what? I do. I'm I'm an old-fashioned winger. I do like to play on the wing. I'm gonna have to go right wing, well, I'm I think. Following in granddad's footsteps, eh? All right, lad. Oh. Oh. What's he moaning about? That's a good shot, mate. Where's Alex? Mate, what are you doing? Referee. It's a pen. Is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? <sighs> oh, controversial. No, hold on a minute. No, no, I want to take... I don't want this guy, I want to change the... Oh. Hoping that Alex gets better as you go through the career. He doesn't have any skill moves at the minute, so he's not very good. Oh. Let me move the ball. What? Surely that was a corner. Oh, another cinematic you can't skip. Let's give them that, mate. Let's take it to top gear, yeah. Just get them warmed up. up, man. Time to show them what we're really made of. Now it's all. Distant shooting. Shooting drills. 
Let's see how good you are putting the ball in the back. Okay, so you play a game and then you do Right, interesting. So you got trolls on different aspects. Quite like that. Oh, not so good. Still hit the target. Finesse. Oh, that one's gone over. Four seconds. Oh, and another one. I'm on for world record, I think. Yes, Alex. He's pulled out the back. Fourth? Oh, not by much. Damn it. If it if weren't for the fact I missed one of those. Oh, oh no, our bed don't look very happy. It won't be long now. We've played well today. You shouldn't leave an old person in the car for too long. Listen, Catherine. God, there are so many cinematics. Just let me play for Leicester. I'm about, I'm 40 minutes in now. And I'm not even playing for the, I've played about a trial match and repeated attempts at the little mini games. Oh, he's marking the wall again. Cat ain't gonna be happy. Oh, Uncle Nobed. Hmm, so I wonder if you now get to be able to change your team again. Or you can play as a team in the chat. Damn it. Oh, look out. So there's a wage thing. That's pretty cool. So who gives the lowest wages? 2525. Any lower than 2525. Oh, 2475. I don't know who I want to play for. Oh, definitely not West Ham after they've started the season. Finishing the top six. That's the club goal. Are you serious? Oh, I'm going to play for Palace. Oh, so you get some rewards for FIFA Ultimate Team. Ah, that's interesting. Oh, no. Not all this again. Let me play a match. Right. Alex attributes will grow based on the way you play and how well you perform in training. Training also allows you to target specific attributes. As you increase Alex's overall rating, you will unlock skill points. Use them to unlock unique player traits. So it's basically like your online pro. This is basically all it is, I think. Another day, another practice. Let's get on with Oh, lovely. Today's training sessions. Simple defending and dribbling. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm. Uh, it, this is very similar to the um, the player growth potential feature they added in FIFA 16, where you could grow the young players and you uh, you set them up for yeah you set them up for training every week. Um, I think there was six or five players you could have until. So it's basically same thing as that I'm hoping you don't have to do the actual training it just auto sims it for you damn it no you have to play it top of the class without sim without simming the accomplishment said without simming you can sim the training sessions yes result advance use skill points to unlock unique player traits have a look at this then right okay so these are just a bit of a sexier looking player skills traits from the online pro stuff I think I'm gonna go finesse shot at the moment behind or mill change in the offing Alan Alex Hunter and Gareth Walker both Getting ready to come on. Yeah, it might be pre-season, but it's a big moment for this pair. Well, we've still got half an hour to go, and we're going to see now Alex Hunter. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This game, far from over. Just Seven rating. The manager clearly feeling he's trying to Great be two chances yeah, in the match. On, it's pretty easy. Okay, I like those goals. Maybe. Now, I'm no Sherlock Holmes. I think Crystal Palace are going to score first, and then Liverpool are going to score second. Alex Hunter is going to come on 20 minutes from time to try and get that win for Crystal Palace. 
Oh. Oh, well, I did not see that coming. If he tells me to score five goals, not a chance. Please don't be another tank on one again. Right, seven rating. Get an assist. Oof. Right. Come on, Alex. Get an assist, mate. Oh. How did he not score? Oh, I didn't want him. I didn't want Townsend to score. I needed Alex Hunter to score. He was right there as well. Yes! Finally! Woo! That was a jammy goal. Oh my god, that was a jammy goal. So guys, I have put two hours worth of gameplay out of my 10 hours I have available in my EA Access FIFA 17 trial in order to play the journey. It took two hours just to play my first Premier League game, which was a bit disappointing because I thought that was going to happen sooner. There was a lot of pre-game stuff. There was free pre-season matches that you play. They're not that long, and it depends whether you start the game as well. Um, and there was also a lot of stuff even before the pre-seasons where you had trials at a club, you had mini-games, you had shooting mini-games, dribbling courses, blah, blah, blah. That just took a long, long time to do. But the worst part about everything was about 30 minutes out of those two hours were taken up of just sat and watching cinematics and the cutscenes. Oh, God, the cutscenes. Some of them were just pointless. I do, I would just like the ability to skip them. Some were fine. I just sound, you know, I was quite happy and content to sit there and watch some of them. But if I go away and then six months' time, I want to play the journey again after completing it, I don't want to have to sit there and watch the same cinematics again. So I'd like to see at least a skip option put in there eventually, which they might do if enough people complain about it. But overall, I really like the journey game mode. I can see myself putting a lot of hours into it, definitely. Um, I felt sort of gripped to Alex Hunter, which I think is what they're going for. Um, you're sort of making that connection with the player because you're choosing his position and skill traits and it's sort of how you want to play. Um, as opposed to, right, you, 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 we just stuck Alex Hunter up front and he scores loads of goals and that's the game mode. So I do like the fact that it sort of caters around you a bit and you, you can tailor Alex to how you want to play, which is fantastic. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think, who, who has played the journey already, um, obviously what you thought of the video, any feedback is great. Um, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you want to see more gameplays and reviews, hit that subscribe button guys, I really appreciate the support, and thanks for watching.